Okay, so this is footage that you all have not seen before. This is me in March and this is literally my second practice after getting injured in Australia where I tore two out of three hamstring attachments really, really good. And I'm just getting back on the court. I didn't do any rehab or anything really for like eight weeks because I just needed a mental break after being mostly injured for about two years. And what really motivated me was before this, I'm in London obviously, I was in Paris and I ended up passing by the French Open. My driver and the cab or whatever I was in went the wrong way and I passed by the French and I looked and I was like, it'd be really fun to be there. And that got me motivated. So I'm in Paris, I have no rackets, no nothing. Serena keeps rackets in Paris. I scrounge around until I find them. I keep looking, I find them. I'm wearing her shoes. The soles are taken out because she wears orthotics. And though that's how I got started. <laughs> I had to buy some tennis gear and here we are hitting balls. And this is my second practice. Wimbledon is always special no matter when you visit it and actually as a player it's probably even more special when you visit it outside the tournament because you have to take everything in it's not so hectic you're not like preparing for a match where you can barely kind of enjoy where you are and I have so many great memories here I've played on a lot of these courts with my sister won a lot of matches and it's really special also this trophy where they keep all the trophies here in the club um, this sign right here, they say it's supposed to be luck, that when you go out into center court, you're supposed to tap the sign, tap the wall, so if you can meet triumph with disaster, you're gonna win, something like this. I don't know, I like to think that all the years of training bring unbelievable luck. Preparation is the one thing that can make you the most lucky, how about that? But the trophies are magnificent to hold and they don't let you hold them for long. You get to hold it, a few seconds, it's gone, but it's forever your name on that trophy. Let's fast forward, this is June of 2023. Three months later, I have gone through the rehab, which is one of the toughest ones of my life. I've gained the confidence back, and now I am hitting on court one. In previous years, they did not open up court one until you had the first match. Now they're opening up the courts. You can hit on them and warm up and break the courts in a little bit. Apparently they were having little issues with the courts being slippery because no one had played on them. So I had this chance to open up court one. It was such an honor. I got to hit with Katie Swan. It was a really, really beautiful experience that my whole team appreciated. We got to walk in and we were just in awe. We were like, wow, look at the courts. Uh, it was amazing. And for me, it was really full circle that came here in March, starting on just my second practice and now playing at a really high level, playing how I want to play. And now it's time to go. Now it's time to do this. Okay, so fast forward, now it's July, and I'm back at Wimbledon. And it's a long way from March when I was hitting my first balls, couldn't move, couldn't lift my leg. <laughs> a really long way, and I'm starting to learn to take time to, um, to be proud of what I achieve, because I, I always want to achieve so much that I'm never satisfied. And so since I always want more, what I've achieved is not enough. And so now I'm learning to like take more moments to observe what great things that I've done, even if it's not the result that I've wanted, I observe, okay, I'm happy that this happened and appreciate those sorts of things. So now is like this great moment for me to appreciate like my body is holding up. I'm appreciating that I get to be here at Wimbledon and compete and give my best. Uh, those sorts of things that I'm appreciating every single day. So this is a big moment of appreciation and excitement and also like, Arr! you know, <laughs> like, come on, I'm ready. So it turns out I'm going to be playing on center court for the first match. It's um, not a very unfamiliar place for me. I've played a lot of finals there. Um, if I were to count, um, let's count. Um, Six singles, no wait, nine singles finals, six doubles finals, and two mixed doubles finals, and an Olympic doubles final. <laughs> That's a lot of finals, so you can add that up. So I've had a lot of great experiences on this court, is basically what I'm saying, and I look forward to getting back out there. And I've come full circle.
this is a circle. This is what happens when you put in the work, even when you're not, you're not sure how you're going to get there, but you know you have to. Um, and you overcome the fear. Because there were definitely moments where I was like, am I going to Am I going to be able to play again without re-injuring myself and just develop that trust, let go of the fear, do the work, get the confidence, and come on back and raise some more hell.